Hey guys, it's me Maple, uh, of course, of course, and in this video I am playing Warframe. It's been a while, I don't really know what I'm doing, I don't know what's happened, um, I played a little bit of the, uh, what's it called, Dervy, pa yeah, Duviri Paradox, that's what it's called, Duviri. I played a little bit of it, um, I think I got through a good amount of it a while ago when it came out. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the direction Warframe has been going, which is one of the main reasons why I stopped playing. Um, I really loved the update before this one. I thought it was cool, and I thought they were going to go in a really cool direction, but now they're going in this, like, I know this was coming. Um, I knew this was coming. It's a very weird, I want to say, like, ancient Greek aesthetic that I just don't vibe with. Um, I don't know if it's a Greek, Persian, I don't know, it's some sort of, it's a weird aesthetic that I don't like, and the story is not my favorite. Um, unfortunately. I mean, it's still cool, just not my thing. I don't really know what to do, so I think I'm just gonna play some sorties. Um, because that's all I, all I can really think of to do. After I, after I was requested of this, I, was, I decided I'd just give it a shot. Warframe is just one of those things that I'm usually able to just pick up and play, um, which is nice. Hopefully I haven't fallen too far behind or anything. Sorties should be still very easy. This is my first game in months. Let's see here, I took the Sebacestenet Archaplasmor. Um, the Sebacestenet Arca, no. I'm pressing the wrong button. I thought they were going to be called the same thing. I was, I was using my abilities. It's been a while. I forgot that it's F to switch. The Ogub Ap Kuva Nukor. And the Bitter Splitters, which is the... Um, I forgot what they're called. It's a, it's a prime Tonfo weapon. But I named them the Bitter Splitters because I thought that was cool. That was quick. They already did the mission for me. I can never tell what the hell's going on in this game. <laughs> I just spam attacks, run around, and feel like a god. And spend way too much money on this. Although I can't say I regret it, because it's always fun being cool looking. There are a few games where I definitely regret spending the money. I think that's... It's not necessarily that I regret spending money on the game. More so what I got for that amount of money. I think my biggest regret is League of Legends, followed by this game. So League of Legends, I, I got one of the first prestige skins. You had to spend like a hundred dollars to get one of those. God, my obsession with that game. And that was near the time that I stopped playing it too. I don't know what compelled me. I think it was the idea like that's a, that's a skin no one has. No one's gonna get, so it'll be cool. It's like, not necessarily FOMO, but a bit of FOMO, but just wanting to be unique, I guess. That was a while ago. Um, I think in this game, the, uh, <laughs> the Nidus Prime thing, I specifically wanted the Void Rig, which I never used, because I still haven't made it usable in missions like they said they were going to do years ago. But it's still badass. I think this is one of my better, best color schemes. It's 
see if I can switch around my character here. Oh, she's kind of crap, but Zephyr Prime, the skin is one of my favorites. Uh, let's try a different weapon, melee weapon. Do, do, do. Lieutenant Livia, that's one of my favorites. Alright, now yeah, let's finish this sortie survival. What? Did it just change? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What are the odds that I'd start that right? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, well, I guess it wasn't that easy. Um, I'm not the best spy character right now, but I think I can be fast enough that it won't matter. Let's find out together. And just a random side note. I currently live in Connecticut. Hopefully for not too much longer. <laughs> but, um... I've been looking around for places to go, things to do. So if you know anything in Connecticut, or very close to Connecticut, preferably not in Massachusetts, because um, if there's one place worse than Connecticut, it's Mass. Um, <laughs> that might offend a lot of Mass holes, as a lot of Connecticut people like to call them. Um, but I think at this point, they deserve it. Um, <laughs> is anyone getting A? Yeah, okay, good. I know one day if I have to stay in this country, I'd like to live in maybe Maine or Vermont or there's four real options, maybe five. Maine, Vermont, Alaska. Um, that's probably like one of the least likely options, one of the least favorite options. Um, oh, oh, is this melee only? Interesting. Didn't even realize that. But, um, Washington and Oregon are two other states that I wouldn't mind. I think Washington more so. But, I'd rather just not live in the United States, personally. It has its upsides, I will not deny that. But... I'd rather much, much more likely live in New Zealand, Norway, um, even Australia with all of its downsides. At least I have a lot of friends there, surprisingly. Um, doesn't even look like there's glass here. They keep that shit clean. Netherlands would be awesome. I'd be okay with Finland. I don't know if I really want to live in Denmark, but I know it's one of the better countries out there. The worst part is I know a lot of the, um... This is definitely going to offend some people. But a lot of those countries also tend to be pretty racist, and my partner is brown, so... <laughs> I also have to think of them, and, uh... Thankfully, I think Australia would probably be one of the better ones. But even then, I know that they are a lot like America, more than they'd like to admit. Not everyone, of course. Not even close to everyone. But it, it only takes one person, you know, for those kinds of things.
but my main preference would be Norway. I know that they have plenty of racists there. Um, but the upsides, I think, outweigh the downsides, and um, my partner does not seem to mind any of those ideas. Although I don't know if they are aware of the um, prevalence of the racism in those countries. Although I don't really know how they'd feel about... Um, I don't know how any of them feel about Americans, to be honest. I'd imagine most countries don't like America and Americans. But I've heard the opposite a lot, too. Definitely depends on the person, of course, like everything. But um, the general tone is still very important. Pretending like it doesn't exist or it's not a problem is uh, not beneficial to anybody. Oh boy, this is a survival mission. Yay. I think one of the biggest problems with this game is that the power creep got way too high um, and they have no idea what to do with it but to just keep going and trying to add more levels of complexity that just kind of make the game unbearable. <laughs> I love this game, don't get me wrong. I've had a, I mean, this is probably one of the few games that I've played for 3,000 hours. Uh, probably a good portion of that is just leaving the game open, but still, I've spent a shitload of time on this game, so do not get me wrong here. I love this game. Spent a lot of money on it. I care about it. I enjoy it. I'm not a huge fan of Digital Extremes and the decisions that they make, but it's still a great game. I think one of the things that I was really excited about with one of those updates was that they were going, uh, I thought that they were going to be starting to focus more on a comprehensible story, rewriting the game and stuff, but um, then it just got weird. <laughs> like, um, you know, if you're into that stuff, if you're into the way that it's going, then awesome. That's, that's wonderful. I wish I was. <laughs> I feel like the base game of War of Warframe could fit so many other games, genres, IPs, I should say. Like I could see almost any world out there, any game, show, movie, etc. You could build a video game off of it. Whoops. Yeah. Damn it. Did not realize I was actually dying there. Of course, I'm being a little too generous, I think, with that, but I could see um, a Dungeons and Dragons ga style game, Warhammer, I could even see like a Harry Potter style game, or Star Wars, etc, etc. Just take a fantasy world that you love, and you can imagine this kind of free-form, mission-based game, building up your character, but following a story. Because this is something that would be pretty simple to replicate. But all you need is the, um, the story around it to really make it shine. 
which this game has in some parts, some aspects, and I think that's when it gets the, when it, when it's its best during like the second dream and stuff. Let's see. Yep, still can't activate that in here. Can't activate that. Could deploy my arc gun, but I'm not a huge fan of that. character. You might have a different loadout enabled right now. Thought I'd change the helmet ability for number for my second ability because it's kind of crap. But I guess I never did. But speaking of games, I am extremely excited for City Skylines 2. Definitely going to be playing the heck out of that. You might have already heard me talking about it if you've been watching my latest Minecraft stuff. What is 3 currently? I think that's the... Uh, I think I have the base abilities still. What is that? Hack and Slash is definitely an underutilized genre. And often poorly utilized, which is probably why it's underutilized. I think the whole point of a hack and slash is to have a bunch of fun, creative, interesting ways of murdering a lot of people all at once. Um, <laughs> But a lot of these hack and slash games just make it samey. And I think Warframe has done a pretty good job at just adding a lot of variety to it. But it still is samey in its own ways. Which can be beneficial. Especially if they're focusing on other things and it's more of a supplement. But it's usually not a supplement for Warframe. Pressing the wrong abilities. We need to activate some of those uh, survival beacons before we run out. Pretty sure there was some in that room, but. And take care of these out here. Well, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay. One of Zephyr's downsides. The map isn't big enough for me. Side as I can fly forever. In theory, anyways. Get back to my team. So we're stronger together. And 
And there's a bunch of loot everywhere. This is one of my favorite combos, actually. Zephyr with the art gun. Because I get so much more um, crit damage from floating. And then I take a super powerful gun. Yeah, this seems pretty weak. I'm not sure what's going on there. This ain't doing shit for some reason. Maybe they nerfed it, or maybe I don't have any mods on it. <laughs> or maybe they're just that tough right now. as fast as Wukong. No, come on. Oh, I don't have a melee right now because of this. Okay, that's what's going on. moves. Fast deflection. Is that a new mod or just a mod that I got rid of at some point? Probably a mod I got rid of at some point. Trying to get all the endo I can. Because I can never get enough of that. Last mission is mobile defense. Maybe I can try a different character. Different weapons. Mix it up a little bit. Um, who might be good for mobile defense? Volt, perhaps. I think yeah, Volt and Nidus are the ones I'm like maxing out with the um, helminth and everything. Um, sure, I'll play Volt, why not? What do I got here, looks-wise? Yeah, that one. Yeah, sure. What weapon do I want here? Ah, you know where this is going, that's what I want. <laughs> Secondary. Pox used to be my favorite. I don't know how good they are right now. Zymos can be pretty good, if I remember correctly. If I'm attacking really fast... Um, I think Lesion is really good against these guys. And yeah, it's one of the uh, weapons I had picked for Volt. Alright. randomly going back to what I was talking about earlier, the reason I brought up the, um, oh boy, that's not good. I'm not doing that much damage. 
Let's see what's this? Oh. Okay, I remember what this build was all about. How do I do this shit again? There we go. Um, as I was just saying, the reason that I brought up the uh, looking for stuff to do in Connecticut is because I found I found this like um, not TikToker but YouTube short person who's going around to different uh, restaurants and stuff around Connecticut finding cool ones and stuff and saying whether or not they're overrated or whatever and uh, I don't know found a few cool ones like an old restaurant in um, what's it freaking called Essex the Griswold Inn in Essex it's like one of the oldest restaurants in Connecticut if not the oldest apparently that's really good not necessarily like the best food, but really cool atmosphere and everything. Jeez. I don't think this uh, vault build and these weapons are good for this higher level. Maybe the, uh, the lesion is, but the rest of it ain't. Don't have a reliable source of energy. I remember back when I played this game a shitload. The most popular, or the most common build I'd run was Necro, uh, Necros, is that his name? And I would just do the spin to win. I just keep doing this everywhere. One-shotting everything. I think it was with Legion as well. And Orthos Prime. Still kind of works. Just the blade, bay blade method. Beautiful. Missile mummery. M missile mummery. <laughs> really just fucking said that. Muscle memory still kicking in. That should be the title of the video Muscle Mes Memory. Gotta see if I can remember that. So change the file name after this. behind the build here is that it's supposed to be for um, I think defense and survival missions where I can just kind of like AFK a bit it's mostly just so that I can tap the one activate wisps ability and then activate a four to get shields and to keep proccing the um I thought I gave shields I guess I don't have that mod uh, installed, but just so that it would be like an infinite loop of dealing damage. Weakening them, dealing more damage, weakening them, dealing more damage. I don't know if it actually works well, but it feels like it does.
two out of three. Oh, this is Wukong. I thought there was two people here. Oh, we got a shotgun Riven mod. Let's see what it takes to unlock. I might unlock it before I uh, stop recording. And despite all that I've played, I don't think I've ever ever gotten the um, um, legendary drop thing from this, from Sorties. The uh, legendary core. I've never gotten it. I think I got one from DE directly for something, but I think they gave that out to like everybody. I never got one from a sortie, and I've done hundreds of sorties. Um, although I never really got too deep into the Rivens and all that stuff. What was that? Arcane. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. I have taken treasures. I don't got none. Shotgun Riven mod. Could this Riven to real? It's unveiling challenge. Okay. Get myself a shotgun. Um, probably the best shotgun I got. Let's upgrade. Let's go to an empty one to put this on. Okay. Kill five unalerted tusk ballistas with a headshot while undetected. Tusk ballistas. I think I know that. I think I can do that one. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I have any silenced secondaries, do I? The epitaph, that's straight shot, I believe. Um, I would want to go... What's her name? Avara, right? Yeah. So I don't really need to buff that up at all. I don't think it matters what secondary or what weapon I take for melee. Doesn't really matter at all. Oh yeah, the wolf sledge. That's that's the one to take for uh, the Vara. Let's make sure that I got the right one here. Is uh, Riven? Let's see here. Duration. I think that's the most most I need. Um, before I do anything, though. Let's see, silence or alert, no, mute, noise, what's it called, I don't remember. What is it called, what is it called, suppress, there we go, suppress, so let's put suppress on this one right here, and it looks fine to me. I don't see anything wrong there. And I'm gonna set myself to invite only, go to Earth, Plains of Eidolon. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't take a sniper, so I would take like the Rubico or something for this, but it is what it is. Grainy. I just, I got a... Interesting. That was more like a Titanfall kind of thing. That's not how it used to be. are cool. Oh jeez, the lag. I don't know what's going on here, why it's all grainy and shit. Okay, 
so they're right in. Is it going to pop up here? I didn't unequip it, did I? Challenges, okay. Unlarded tusk ballistas with a headshot, so I can get infinitely close to them. I don't have the little wire thing. I have Midas's thing instead, so I can't get over there easy. Tusk ballistas, I believe those are the snipers that are going to be up in these posts. I don't know if I'm wrong or not. The worst part is I can't bullet jump, otherwise it's going to break my uh, invisibility. Alright, perfect. I forgot that these have uh, travel time. Whatever. I wonder if I can stay invisible while ride riding this. Nope. Do they upgrade these? I don't know. Oh yeah, this place is different now. Just a little bit. That should still exist. Are they alerted? They look like they're alerted. Maybe not. Okay, I thought the epitaph was a little bit different than it is. I don't think I can change right now. That'd be cool if I could change mid-mission. Gunner, okay, no ballistas over here. There usually is one, but not this time. Is that a ballista? No, it's a bombard. Okay, so maybe it's just the opposite of what I was thinking. Interesting. Alright, let's look for more of these ballistas. I've only found one so far. There might be one over here, but... Don't want to get too close. Whoops, wrong ability. Ballistas. It'd be cool if I could like mark them or something. I don't know if there's any particular missions that increase the likelihood of ballistas to spawn. Hybrid abominations unlocked. Maybe up there. I don't have my sleep arrows either, so this is also 
extra difficult. Is that like a fast travel point or something? Oh my god, it is. Okay, that's new. Yeah, it looks like it might have a ballista near it. Maybe not. It's spinning around. What the hell? see one up there, but there could be one up there still. Ah, oh, yep, there it is. I want to get up, up close and personal because I don't trust this gun. There we go. Maximus Eviscerator Lancer had to make the arc wing launchers and you actually had to ration it a little bit unless you were wealthy with resources. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Viscerators. Jeez. I don't remember this thing. Oh wait, maybe I do. Maybe there's a ballista. Finish this up quick because this is taking a while. There's two ballistas here. Happy days. Beautiful. I just need one more. Lancers. Trooper, you're not going to see one on the ground usually. That could have one. There we go. Yes, there's one right there. Almost. <laughs> Got halfway. Let's see if I can get it from down here. Oh, don't move, don't move. Stop moving. Oh, did that not count? I think there was two up there. But I think I alerted that one. 
I'm gonna have to sit here and wait until it's not alerted anymore. Or maybe it's not alerted. There we go. Now uh, where's the exit? I think it's over there. see what this is. What do we get? What do we get? Frozen screen. Grainy graphics. Alright, come on. Something good. Oh, come. Critical damage magazine. Low fire rate. Ugh. Okay, not that great. For an interesting weapon, I like the comb, but I don't know. Alright, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it relaxing and enjoyable to, for whatever reason you may be watching this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mr. Rock.